afternoon good morning good evening leos sun moon rising in venus and a little bit of mercury happy sunday to y'all how's it going with everybody this is your girl spiritual black coming to you to win with the energy update for y'all how y'all feeling y'all feel that full moon in leo <laughs> it's definitely in y'all sign so either y'all could be Y'all could be feeling really good or feeling really bad about some shit, okay? If you was doing good in your past, then you should be feeling the good the good uh, energy of this full moon. If you was doing some fuck shit in the past, I pray for you. That's all I'm gonna say. So, uh, Spirit, let's get to it. Once again, this is your girl, Spiritual Black, coming to you too, Lynn. I hope all is well. Your girl's getting ready to go out, okay? I'm about to go out and um, go eat good with a little, you know. Sh sh la -la 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 -la. So, the energy, like I said, what's going on with Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and a little bit of Mercury. Once again, this is your girl, Spiritual Black, coming to you to land, okay? Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment if the content fits for you, you feel me? At the time, I'm not taking the personals right now, but I am offering my assistance when it comes to learning more about your birth chart, okay? Okay. All y'all shit is in reverse, or so maybe y'all coming out of some things, Leo's. For what is Leo's energies? What's going on with them? I am using the Modern Witch Chair deck right now. I would, uh, ooh, I'm clarifying them. Sorry, I'm moving my crystal, but that was too loud. Um, clarifying them with the Right Away deck. And then I'm going to pull some advice cards from the mermaid deck. So you guys got the five of cups in the reverse. What's this five of cups in the reverse for Leos and their energy? The five of cups in the reverse for Leos and their energy. Spirit, thank you for all the love and light. Thank you for the enlightenment. Thank you for your protection. Holy Spirit, angels, what is the five of cups in the reverse? I know a car fell. I know I ain't tripping. It did. Give me one card for the five of cups in the reverse for Leo's. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, and a little bit of Mercury. Hmm. This is nine of pentacles. Wow. This nine of pentacles in the reverse for the Leo's and their energy. Really? I feel like that's, it wanted to fall. Wow, y'all got the temperance and the temperance. Boom. The three of pentacles in the reverse for Leo's and their energy update spread. What's this three of pentacles in the reverse for them? What's this nine of swords in the reverse for Leo's? What's this nine of swords in the reverse for Leo's and the energy? They come now from being worried, overthinking some things. Coming out of being worried, maybe like, <sighs> give me one card. Give me them to see. Nine of Swords in the reverse for Leo's. What's this Nine of Swords in the reverse? <laughs> What's this Temperance card in the reverse? I mean, I'm sorry, the Temperance cards for Leo's and our energy update. Needing patience, needing balance within something. This world card for Leo's. This is world card for Leo's. Okay, Leo's. <clears throat> Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and a little bit of Mercury. So, once again, I said this is an energy update for y'all, okay? The overall message for your energy is you are waiting on something right now. I'm sorry. It could be also waiting, but being confused about something, maybe being confused about taking um, the next direction, the next step, you know, maybe within a project, maybe something that you want to do for yourself, maybe within a relationship, you know what I'm saying? Take what resonates to yours. 
Um, y'all got the eight of wands. <laughs> y'all got the eight of wands in the reverse for the overall message that I pulled for the right of weight turd. To me, this is symbolizing like no action is being taken. Some delays probably has been about for you. Um, I don't know why I just heard trip. Maybe you guys was taking was supposed to be taking a trip and something has been delayed. Um, once again, I said this is like action not being taken. Uh, let's get into the reading. So the five of cups in the reverse, you feel me? That is probably you um, coming out of being regretful about something. You know, maybe you have did all the grind that you've done, you know, Leo's where something isn't just it's, it's, it's not affecting your emotions anymore. You're not crying over spilled milk. You uh, left those three cups where they was and you you're, you're focusing on the two cups that's behind you. Um, it could have been maybe because. Uh, if it has something to do with a relationship, you know, take what resonates. This could be for yourself or anything. But Leo's, uh, the the Queen of Swords, I mean, I'm sorry, the Queen of Wands is your card, okay? But, uh, you know, you probably let some go. And you could, I also just heard, like, you could still be feeling this way. You could still be feeling a little regretful about some. You know, your emotions could be up and down. You know what I'm saying? Take what resonates. But the Queen of Wands and the reverse is like somebody that isn't passionate. You know, um, player ways. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, they not taking no type of action on anything right now. So, these wands, there's a lot of wands in y'all reading, Leo. So, of course, y'all hearing y'all reading, right? Um, yeah, not being passionate about something, you know, like maybe you not, you you let something go, you know what I'm saying? And it, it's not messing with your, uh, I'm going to say not messing with like your emotions and everything. But what I'm trying to say is like, it's, it's, it's like, if it is still bothering you, you feel me? That's probably why you feel like you're not in tune with yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe you're feeling really off balance right now. Um, then you guys got the Nine of Pentacles and the Temperance. So, to me, they're saying, like, y'all are feeling, um, I wouldn't say codependent because you could be single. You know what I'm saying? So, if you codependent and you single, who the fuck are you dependent on, Leos? But I'm saying, um... I have to get back to that call. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse is, you know, somebody that is very codependent. Somebody that it doesn't feel like they can handle things on their own. You know what I'm saying? Because the Nine of Pentacles in the upright is somebody that is enjoying the fruits of their labor. You feel me? So maybe you are exhausted with something, you know, maybe working too much, not receiving the pay that you need to. I don't know where it came from, but take what resonates. You feel me? Um, working so hard, not receiving the pay that you want. The nine of pentacles and the upright is like either they, their own business person. You feel me? Um, business owner. Okay. Um, they they love what they do you know what i'm saying as you see she looks like she loves working in the garden she looks like she loves and she's enjoying her fruits of her labor you know what i'm saying but this right now y'all maybe y'all just y'all not feeling like your money and shit is right you know what i'm saying y'all trying to figure out where the next dollar is gonna come from um the temperance car is like i feel like if you are feeling like like you're not independent enough or you feel like you, you can't get through it. Like maybe it's like a temporary thing for you because I know the temperance is like past. I, I, I'm sorry. Patience. You know what I'm saying? Um, balance at the end of the day, you guys could be dealing with the Sagittarius as well. You, you can have Sagittarius in your chart. You feel me? But the temperance card is like screaming, like needing balance, like hope. You know what I'm saying? Like, but balance for real, for real. And maybe you guys are needing balance within, um, like when it comes to being independent, you are needing to like set boundaries for yourself. You know, when it comes to your money, you know, when it comes to yourself, how you spend your money, where your money goes to, you feel me? Like there's, there's needing, a, there is a balance that's needed. Okay, sometimes I feel like I just be rambling, you feel me? But I know it'd be big as it. I'm not a Leo, but hey. Um, the three of pentacles in the reverse and the seven of cups. So I feel like like something didn't work out in the midst of like somebody having too many options. Um too many um 
ideals at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? The three of pentacles. It could be a relationship. It could be a job. You know what I'm saying? But I say if it is a relationship, like say you are the person or whatever, Leo, um, could bring this together. You know what I'm saying? This could be also third party energy. Like the reason why it didn't work because somebody was entertaining somebody else. You know, um, the reason why it probably didn't work, like I said, is because somebody had too many options at the end of the day. You or this person, hell, it could be both of y'all. I don't know. Uh, when it comes to a job, you feel me? Like maybe a job didn't work out due to, uh, like it was just a lot of shit going on maybe at that job. You know what I'm saying? Where you just couldn't hold the fort down no more. Like it was time for you to go. And if you're not gone, you feel me? Like this is for letting you know, you feel me? It's just probably said like, Maybe a job isn't going to work out. Maybe because you have other ideals. You have passionate ideals. You feel me? You have other options. You know what I'm saying? Other endure, other endures, endeavors. I don't know if I always... I fuck that word up all the time. Okay? Uh, you got the Nine of Swords and then the Hermit card. So, Leo's like... If you are coming out from being worried, you know, stuck and stagnant. You know what I'm saying? Uh, with you coming out, you're basically going within. You feel me? You coming out from being worried and up late, you know what I'm saying? Daydreaming about certain situations, certain people, you know, problems and shit that's no longer serving you. Spirit is letting you know, like either Spirit is letting you know it's time for you to go within, you know what I'm saying? Or you went within, you you went so searching, you trying to figure some shit out within yourself, you know what I'm saying? Like why uh, is this person, is this place, is this thing, you feel me, got me worried like this, like... I'm not even in myself, you know what I'm saying? You're not even in your own energy right now, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said, you probably could still be, you know, feeling regretful about something, still upset about something, you know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, the hermit card, yeah, that's like you going within, trying to figure some shit out about yourself, you know what I'm saying? Uh, then you guys got the temperance and the seven of pentacles. So I look at it as there's a balance that's needed when it comes to planting your seeds. There is patience. There is, you know, uh, boundaries that's needed to be set when it comes to planting your seeds. The seven of pentacles, you know, that is definitely like making sure your ducks is in a row. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this has a lot to do with your finances, Leos. Um, but you just making sure you know, you know, where your money's going at. You know, making sure you have the right investments and your investments isn't like, uh like eating your pockets away you know what i'm saying because you could be investing in a lot of things but is it bringing money back to you you know are you seeing anything you know what i'm saying are you planting seeds right now and you're not writing shit down that's what i just heard um i mean some people they could just move on energy at the end of the day but i've learned as i write things down i put stuff in my journals that helps me out so so much more when i go uh before i go grocery shopping I always make me a little list, you know what I'm saying? That helps me, you know, it helps me to plant what I want, you know what I'm saying? So when I get to the doc, I mean doctor, when I get to, I even do it for the doctor's office. Like sometimes I'll write out a little summary or whatever on what I want to talk to my doctor about. By the time I get there, I will already have everything that I need. Sometimes it's good to plan ahead, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's what spirit is telling y'all. Um, not even just telling y'all either this is what y'all doing. Because this is an energy update for Leos, you feel me? Or it's a spirit telling, telling y'all this is what y'all need to do. You feel me? Um, the world card and then the two of cups, you feel me? So some cycles is being closed out with a soulmate. Some cycles is being closed out with somebody, you know, it could be somebody from your past. It could be somebody that you had uh, serious feelings for. You know what I'm saying? Um... Now, when I say cycles is being closed out, chapters is being closed, like, I don't know if y'all broken up or whatever, you feel me? But I look at it as just because cycles is being closed out and chapters being closed or whatever you want to call it, you feel me? That don't mean people is broken up. It just means it's on to a new chapter. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all need to think different. It's time, to, it's time to change your perspective within your relationship. You know, you've been with this person about two, three years and y'all been doing the same shit. It's time to switch it up. It's time to make new cycles. Time to make new traditions. You know what I'm saying? I hope that resonates with y'all Leos. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and a little bit of Mercury. Okay, that's an energy update for y'all. Let me get oops, get some advice. 
from the mermaids. This is just a little, little something real quick, an energy update. So what? Oops. Nope. Uh, Y'all got letting go. Letting go. There's something, to, there's something that you guys need to let go of. What messages, what advice messages do you have for the Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and a little bit of Mercury? What advice do you have for the Leos, the Leo Collectives? Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I can't even talk about Comment if the content fits for you. If it don't, hell, still discernment. I don't know. This card keeps coming out, showing some type of discernment, showing some type of, um, oops, some type of fr friendship came out. The word friendship came out. Relaxation. Gentleness. Ooh, I've never seen this one. Gentleness. Advice for now for the Leos. Move forward. So there's something, like I said, something that you guys are needing to move forward from. Something that you guys are needing to break free from, Leos. It could be addictions. It could be person, place, or thing. You feel me? Anything that you know that is no longer serving you anymore, it's time to let that shit go. Like I said, cycles has been closed out. Uh, that could be as well breaking free. I don't know. I'm going to see somebody that I don't want to see today because my motherfucking nose is itching. Or maybe this resonates with y'all. Cycle resonates. I'm not a Leo. But cycles is being closed out. In the midst of, like, you're moving forward, either from this person, something that isn't serving you anymore, Leos. Break it free. Discernment. Showing that you care. Showing, showing some type of uh, sympathy, empathy, I believe. Gentleness. Being calm, cool, and collected at the end of the day. You ain't got to be all crazy and bold and, you know... Peace be still. That's why. That's what I just heard. Peace be still. And it also fell on the temperance card. So peace be still, honey. Relaxation. It fell out on the um the five of cups in the queen of swords. So you guys are like needing to like loosen up a little bit. You know, even if you even if you feel like you're not in your power right now, like find other ways to make yourself feel good. You know what I'm saying? Like if you don't feel like you are doing what you need to do you know what i'm saying find something that makes you feel good what helps to relax you leos It says obstacles and challenges and stand your ground. So, what I get from that is because they fell out together. There's some shit that you're going through. There's some shit that you're getting ready to go through. And I feel like Spirit is telling you to always remain calm. Always remain uh, standing your ground at the end of the day. It says heartache and loss. So, I know it's this. Is this the three? Three of either the three? Of cups or the three of swords. I can't really remember. I might I think it's the three of swords though. But heartache and loss. So maybe you guys are like once again feeling regretful about something. I don't know what it is, Leos. Um something has definitely got you feeling all up in your heart, you know, all up in your head. Somebody got you feeling this way. Stand your ground, though. You definitely are going to pull through this. You feel me? What I've learned, too, because if people don't know what energies is, if people don't know what vibing high is, if people don't know what vibing low is, 
hit your girl up. The Ronda15 at gmail.com. That's what I'm here to tell you. No, nah, but I'm I'm just playing. I mean I, I'm I'm serious, but I'm I'm playing as well. But if people don't know, then they don't grow. You know, you have to want to figure this shit out on why it keeps happening to you, why you keep uh like, say, if it is about a relationship or something that you have heartache and loss from, you know, you're wondering why this shit is still, like, why is this, like, a forever circle for you? What What's going on? It is time for you to go within. It's time for you to go within. Like, you guys got the positive moving forward, but I also feel like it's not, it's not going to be a positive movement forward for you until you get through these obstacles and these challenges period period being confused and stuck you know what i'm saying not feeling like you're in your power you need in balance within your finances you know what i'm saying like you know something didn't work out maybe because of finances maybe because both of y'all had too many options you feel me take what resonates take what resonates but i feel like like some if somebody was to come and tell you that something ain't right you feel me I'm not saying, like, listen to that person or whatever, but show some type of sympathy. You feel me? Show that, you know, it, it, it might not have been my fault. It was probably your fault, but still hear this person out. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Take what resonates. And also, always have some type of gentleness. Like, I, it probably has something to do with this person. I don't know. Person, place, or thing. You feel me? But, yes, once again, um... Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your girl, Spiritually Black, coming to YouTube land with an energy update for y'all. You feel me? Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment if the content fits for you, okay? Please, please don't forget to move, groove. Um, My neighbors and shit is arguing. I probably have to get some sage up and running. I don't know. <laughs> don't forget to move, groove. Um. Get that bread, get that head, and leave. Like, that's, 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 that's all I got for y'all today, okay? And, yeah, keep shining bright like a diamond.